Welcome back, Fantasy Fiction Fanatics. It's great to see you again, and I hope you're doing well. Today is going to be another book review, and today's book is Hall of Smoke by H.M. Long. Now, if you'd like a full written review from me, you're welcome to find that on my blog, fantasyfictionfanatics.net, and I will post that link down below, so you are welcome to look at it and read it if you'd like more information about it. Um, but yeah, let me just go ahead and jump in and give you the overview of what I thought. It is the first book in her series. I believe this is the only book that she has, at least from what I saw. This was her very first book, and the next one will be coming out next year. So I really liked this book, and there's tons of things to like about it. But one of the main things that really attracted me to this book was the mythology that she created. She has a very intense, very interesting mythology that she has in this story. Um, it's kind of similar to Greek mythology in some ways, and the fact that it has so many layers of gods. You know, we've got gods that are bound, old god, new gods, gods that came uh, because uh, they were born from other gods, gods that are under other gods, like there's a main god. Uh, to the real, uh, the certain sect of people and they've got, you know, like lesser gods underneath it that all lead up to this main god. So super, super cool. It's got a lot of mythology going on there. A lot of cool myths, a lot of cool human legends, got a lot of human and god interaction. Like the whole entire book is about, you know, a conflict going on with the gods and how that's affecting the human world. So it is super, super interesting to understand um, the characters that are in this book as well as their interaction and their relationship with their god or goddess. And um, Hesse, who is our main character, follows the uh, goddess Yang. So it's very, very interesting to see her religious aspects and how they portray with her goddess and how the goddess interacts with her as well as the other god and goddesses with other characters and things like that. So super, super interesting. If you like mythology, definitely check out this book because it is super cool, super interesting. I really loved it, really thought it was super unique and super interesting for this story. Really made the story something... I don't want to just keep saying the same words, but it really seems like the, those are the main words that are coming up to my mind, but just something special about the, the mythology for this book. Next is that I really love the characters. There are a lot of great characters in this particular book, but especially Hessa, who is our main character, she is done wonderfully. Uh, she has a lot of stuff going on in this book, happening to her, happening because of her, such like that. So she just seems like a very real person. It seems very natural, very organic. Um, everything that goes on with her doesn't seem fake, doesn't seem false. I really, really like that she is a strong woman who does have a strong religious core to herself. She really loves her goddess. She is very, you know, devoted to her goddess. Yet, at the same time, she's very open-minded, very much um, grounded in the world around her and the people around her, and that she then forms her own thoughts and opinions based on the actions of other people, the actions of, you know, God and goddesses, and analyzes, analysis, I don't know what the term is, but she really captures what's happening around her, analyzes it, and then makes her own decisions. So she's not just caught up in the mythology and in her religious faith. She's very much a strong woman who can have the faith, but then also can understand the limitations of things and look at the big picture of what's actually going on around her and making decisions based on that instead of just blindly trusting everything and going forward. So absolutely love Hessa, absolutely love a lot of the characters in this book. Lots of them are really, really good. Um, and then the third main thing that I really liked is how organic and how natural the actual story is. So this story changes and progresses as you go along. So we start at point A, and point B, which is the ending, is very, very in a different place than point A was at, um, if that makes any sense. We really change and evolve along with the story, along with the character, along with the events. And these changes and this, you know, kind of 
zigzagging motion of like what's going on and how things are moving about is very organic and very natural and really makes it feel like a very honest story like it really would happen that way and it really would go about this way and you can see why we got from point a to point b for the ending and seeing the struggle and the, the difficulties that it took to get to that location so really really love the story and the progression that it takes i can't uh, stress enough how organic and natural everything feels the characters feel very real and natural and um like they could take place the story feels like that's how it really would happen if it was a real world with real live events very organic and natural progression doesn't seem false doesn't seem faked or stressed at all it's super super good super interesting story and super interesting progression i only have one minor complaint it's not even really like a huge letdown or anything like that it didn't take away from my enjoyment but one thing to keep in mind with reading this book is that there is a lot of people a lot of gods a lot of goddesses a lot of characters to keep track of and at some points it can be a bit tricky to remember who's who when you have limited contact with certain characters or certain god and goddesses that just pop up here and there so the main characters you can totally follow but some of the more obscure characters some of the more um, characters that just show up a little bit in bits and pieces it can be hard to keep track of all their names and hard to keep track of exactly what's happening to who and why so that's the only thing was that it was just a little bit hard to keep everything straight in my mind for all the characters that are not prominent so maybe you guys will be better at that than me but that was my only minor complaints about the novel as a whole in the end would i recommend it yes 100 percent. yes i would definitely recommend it to especially those people who love high fantasy and those who love really in-depth mythologies mythologies that are very much a part of the story very much a reason for the story's existence um, if you love gods goddesses interacting with the world um, knowing more about these um, religions and how they affect people's lives this is definitely one that you will enjoy um, if you like really complex stories that you know have a lot of problems and build up and things going on and multiple strands of of subplots going on that meet in the middle this is definitely a story for you as well so i definitely recommend it to a lot of people i think there's a lot to enjoy about this book a lot of good writing and definitely hope that you guys check it out if you have something that you uh if you need something new to read go ahead and definitely check out hall of smoke by h m long and I guess that is it. If you guys have read this book, please let me know what you think of it. Or if you end up checking it out, I'd love to hear your opinion on it as well. And I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye.